simplifying thirds. So I've got square root of 50 and I want to simplify it. So I'm looking for two numbers at times together to make 50. One of them has to be a square number. So I've got the option of 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36 and so on. To find a square number you just take a number and times it by itself. The answer is a square number. So 25 goes into 50 so I can write that first times 2. I then just square root my 25 to get 5 times root 2. So that is 5 root 2 simplified. Let's do another one, root 96. So I'm looking for two numbers at times together to make 96. If you do that, you'll get 16. And how many times is 16 going? Well, it goes in 6 times. So the square root of 16 is 4. So it's 4 times root 6. Or 4 root 6 is the final answer. Always find the biggest square number that goes in. If I'd used 4 there, then I would have had to simplify again at the end. In multiplying thirds, so if you've got two numbers with a root and you want to times them together, you can just times the numbers that are under the root. So I can just do the square root of 5 times 15. That's the square root of 75. But if you can simplify it, you then simplify it. So square root of 75, well that's just 25 times 3. Square root of 25 is 5, so there we go, 5 root 3 is our final answer. Let's try another one, square root of 10 times 12, so that's the square root of 10 times 12, that's 120. So you're looking for a square number that goes into 120, quite quickly you'll get down to 4. 4 is the only square number that goes into 120, so I can write that as the square root of 4 times the square root of 30. Since 4 is the biggest one that goes in, I know that root 30 is simplified already. Square root of 4 is 2, so we've got 2 root 30 and we're done. Dividing thirds. So if you've got a square root divided by a square root, then that's the same as doing one square root with the numbers divided by each other. So the square root of 48 divided by 3, well 48 divided by 3 is 16. So we've got the square root of 16, which in this case is just 4. You simplify at the end, which in this case is a whole square number. Adding and subtracting thirds. You can only add and subtract thirds if the number under the square root is exactly the same. Otherwise, you can't add them. But you can sometimes simplify a third to make it look the same, or both thirds. So let's have a look at this example. Root 50 plus root 8. Let's just at the side root 50. That is 25 times 2. So that gives me 5 root 2. Let's do the same thing with root 8. That is 4 times 2. Square root of 4 is 2. So that's 2 root 2. So this whole sum becomes 5 root 2 plus 2 root 2. Well that's fine. 5 root 2 and another 2 root 2 makes 7 of them. So I've got 7 root 2 in total and we're done with that one. Okay, a little past paper question. 2014, paper 1, question 8. Root 40 plus 4 root 10 plus root 90 as a third in its simplest form. Can't add them until they're all simplified. So let's start with root 40. So we've got root 40, well that's just 4 times 10, 2 root 10. Notice so how root 10 has appeared, and we now know that root 10 is already simplified because 4 is the biggest square number, it goes into 40, and it gave us root 10 as an answer. So I don't have to try and simplify my root 10. So I'll now go and simplify my root 90, well that's 9 times 10. Square root of 9 is 3, so that gives us 3 root 10. So our whole sum simplifies into 2 root 10 plus our 4 root 10, it was already there, plus an extra 3 root 10. So adding all them together, 2 plus 4 is 6, plus another 3 is 9. Our answer is 9, lots of root 10. And we're done.